Good afternoon, y'all. It is, I don't even know what today's date is. Holy crap. It is April 13th, Friday the 13th. I just realized that. Dun dun dun! It's gonna be a good day. Even though they say Friday the 13th is supposed to be like, you know, a superstitious day. <gasps> bless you! Thanks. God bless your soul. Thanks, ma'am. Y'all, I'm just in a very good mood. The last couple days though, let me sit down because we're gonna talk real quick. The last couple days I have not been in a good mood. My hemorrhoid, I have a hemorrhoid from chemo and cancer and all that stuff has just been a pain in my butt. No pun intended at all. It has been hurting so bad. And when that happens, my anxiety just goes through the freaking roof. But when I was diagnosed with cancer, I realized that I've always had anxiety, but it just became more prominent and more like, I noticed it more um, going through cancer. And when I'm starting to have an anxiety attack or I'm getting anxious, I fidget with things or my hands are moving or my legs. I just can't sit still. Um, most of the time, where's my phone? Most of the time when I'm anxious, I'll play with my pop socket and like do this or when I'm nervous. But now that there's no evidence of disease and I've beat cancer, my anxiety has been at its complete worst. Um, and that's because life after cancer in a way is kind of scarier than life with cancer, if that makes sense. So let me explain. When I had cancer, literally my schedule was set. I knew like every Thursday or every third Thursday of the month I was getting chemo, I was getting scans. Like there was a set schedule for everything. And that made me, you know, feel safe, reassured. I knew when like my, uh, my levels were getting checked, like my CA-125. So I always felt very secure if something ever, you know, went wrong, they would catch it right away just because I was getting my checkups and blood drawn literally almost every week. But now that I've been reduced back to chemo basically once a month, getting everything checked once a month, and now that my chemo literally is done on the 27th of this month, my anxiety is pretty bad. Um, like a little bump and bruise that I can get, I instantly, my mind, like the anxiety like takes over and it's like, oh my gosh, you need to call your doctor. This is horrible. When in reality, I know I'm okay. I know it's my mind playing tricks on me, but even like I'm sore right here under my armpit. And I know it's because I've been working out a lot harder than I usually have. And I am the world's weirdest sleeper. I sleep on this arm and like my arms like this and like this. So I know there's reasons for it being sore, but when you had cancer or have cancer, just the littlest things just bring you back to that place where it's like, oh my gosh, is it that? Is it this? Oh my goodness, let me call my doctor. And then your mind just takes you to the darkest place possible. My anxiety brings me to that place where it's so irrational and the littlest problem in the world feels like the world's biggest problem. Like I can't do it. Um, and it's, it's scary. You, f then you feel guilty too, when you're kind of coming back from the anxiety attack and you're like, wow, I really freaked out over that. And I, I felt like that because of that. I, that's why I felt that way for something that little. And then you feel bad that you felt that way or you acted that way and you, you get down on yourself. And that's been my biggest struggle. Um, through the entire battle with cancer is the mental aspect. Um, my anxiety has been a real trickster on me, but I've definitely found ways to cope with my anxiety, ways to recognize when I'm having an anxiety attack. If I know there's pills and everything I can take. Um, I don't like taking medicine. I do take, I do take THC and CBD. Um, CBD really does help though when I am having an, an anxiety attack. It just really kind of calms my brain down, calms me down and then I'm good. So that really helps. When I'm in the middle of an anxiety attack, I'll just kind of sit down and I'll just like, just kind of shut my brain off and I'll just really breathe. Just like in and out. And that really kind of brings down my heart rate. And then if I have to, if I'm in a really bad place, I'll turn on my Christian music because that for me brings me out or I'll just come talk to Caleb and laugh with him. So there's ways for me that I have found to help. Yeah, so that's my anxiety story. <sighs> yeah, I'm done ranting. Caleb needs to make his protein shake. He's been waiting for me. So let's just go say thanks, honey, for waiting. You're welcome. No, no shameless plug, but uh, 
women's best protein is the best. Um, it's vegan. Caleb even enjoys it in his smoothies. I do. I do. So uh, code right here if uh, you want to get some. Okay, bye. Hope y'all enjoyed that upper body workout. My upper body is very sore. And as you can tell, it's the next morning. It's nine o'clock, I slept in. It felt great to sleep in. Sometimes though, when I sleep in, I like wake up in a straight up panic. Like my heart's pounding through my chest. And I don't know why. I think it's because I feel guilty waking up late, but I'm hungry though. I'm going to try to attempt something I have not attempted in like three years. I'm gonna make some pancakes, but not just regular pancakes. These are gonna be vegan chocolate chip pancakes. Honey, you want some pancakes? Yeah, that'd be good. Bye. Oh gosh, let's see what this is about. Not bad at all. Oh, okay, cool. Let me, let me try. Actually, I really like them. I'm not just saying that because the camera's on either. Oh, uh -huh, I'm sure. Mmm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, y'all, I have no idea what I filmed last or what I said or what I was doing, but welcome to my life because that's a part of chemo brain. So, hey, there you go. But I do remember I did talk, I wanted to talk to y'all about um, my new business that is going to be launching on April 28th. So mark your calendars for April 28th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for my new company called Monarch Jewelry. It will be launching April 28th. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Monarch Jewelry is very near and dear to my heart. Caleb and I have been working on this for about two to three months now. Monarch Jewelry is a handmade jewelry line. Right now, we're just working on necklaces and um, they are made from me. They do take a while to make. That's why it's been in the works for three to four months. But right now, we're just doing a small launch because I want to see if you guys even like these, if this is something that um, you love as much as I do, which I hope you do. So we will have five necklaces launching. They will say, stay strong, be the light, survivor, blessed, and faith. I will just show you a couple of them, um, which are my favorite two, which is Be the Light and Faith. These necklaces are gonna be gold filled and they're the gold bar pendant necklaces. And gold filled is like the one of the best qualities you can get besides gold. So you shouldn't break out. Um, your allergic reaction should not happen. You will not turn green. I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin, especially after chemo. And even before chemo, my skin was very sensitive. So I'm very particular with the kind of jewelry I put on my neck, put obviously in my nose, on my ears when I wear my earrings, um, even on my hands. I don't like to wear a certain kind of jewelry just because my skin breaks out. So gold filled is really one of the only things besides gold that um, doesn't break me out. So the pendants itself are gold filled and same with the necklaces. The reason I named my company Monarch Jewelry is because Monarch butterflies are something that stuck with me so much during my battle with cancer. Um, my great grandma, she unfortunately passed away from cancer a long, long time ago. I was about four years old, but she always told me that Whenever I was afraid or needed reassurance, if I always saw a butterfly to know that it was her. And when I was battling cancer, I always saw Monarch butterflies. That's why I wanted to name my jewelry company Monarch Jewelry because it's a tribute to my great grandma and for the simple fact that butterflies, especially Monarch butterflies, are so beautiful and every single butterfly is unique and different. No butterfly is the same. Just like you and I, we're not the same. We're completely unique. Just like these necklaces are completely 
completely unique. These necklaces are handmade, so they're not perfect, just like you and I, we're not perfect. They do have their flaws. Every necklace will not look exactly the same, and that's why I knew Monarch Jewelry was just the perfect fit for this company. So if it goes... There is a reminder for Cheyenne. Thank you, Google. I hope you guys are excited for this launch. So mark your calendars for April 28th for 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That was a little bit of my business talk, my anxiety talk, a little bit of workout, um, a little bit of vegan pancakes. So this vlog was a little all over the place, but y'all welcome to my life. My life is all over the place, especially now that we're moving. Um, oh, speaking of that, we are moving still. Um, the date got pushed back a little bit. I don't know if I said that. Um, we'll be leaving here May 12th instead of the 5th. Um, but yeah, we'll be in Tampa really soon. And then there'll be more structure to everything once our life calms down. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.